Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rinku, and I'm finally back from TwitchCon, which means I have videos for you. In a few seconds, I'm going to show you my first experience with every single archer skill available at TwitchCon. However, at the end of this video, I will also be going further in depth with my thoughts and opinions. Enjoy! Alright guys, I'm finally sat down with the male ranger at TwitchCon, and you can see his weapons. You get a pen Zarka crossbow, you can hover over that, Zarka crossbow, and pen Nuber, enchanted Nuber glove is my bad. Holy shit. Alright, what is up everyone? This is the Archer. Skills. So like I was saying, the first skill, it just left click in certain uh, certain things, and it's also, there's another skill that where it's space in certain things. I don't know what certain things is, but you can cancel your left click with space and do this. And the other skill, the first skill I just showed you, is after you do that, you can actually hit left click to go farther. So you cancel left click with space, you hit left click again, and you go forward. Now another thing, is that thing that I just did. So going back, you can move your camera angle and it will move where you go, just like some other classes in the game. So both those skills seem to be some kind of movement, but the space skill is probably uh, more than the, just that. We'll look at that in a bit. The next skill is side left click. So this is literally just a strafe. Um, it's kind of like your regular attack, but you dash the side, so left, right. Uh, it's funny, they mentioned that this class is not very mobile, but that's actually completely opposite. This class is very fucking mobile. Um, you also have shift left and right, and shift back, so that looks like this. It's kind of like some sliding move, and it does have a cooldown. The back one, though, is completely different. You kind of, like, shoot forward, and then you launch back, and there are two different cooldowns. So you can, like, left click, slide back, slide this way, do the space thing, you can go <laughs> that way. There's so many different skills just to move your character. I'm not really looking too much into the details of these skills. They do damage, but I don't really know how much. The next skill is just right click. So this, if we can get our weapon out, it, it's just like, it looks like a dagger? I don't actually know what this thing is. It's like the ranger dagger, but it's the magic glove, I guess? So, similar concept, but you can also keep clicking right click to do some kind of combo. So if you keep clicking it, it does this uh, interesting combo. I'm not sure if it's going to be useful for anything, and it does have a cooldown. Um, but yeah, so that's just another skill. Going down here, um, we have the back right click. We already did that. It does say, oh, it does say after, so we can do that. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what that one actually does. Going on, though, we have space in certain situations. That's what I was talking about earlier. It has super armor. Holy shit, that makes sense. So. When you're going into the air like this, you actually have super armor, and then you can dash away. I think that's like a, an important part that, that is super armor, because without super armor, I don't know how that would be useful. A few other things, you have left and right with Q and left click, so just left and shift is that, but if you hold left click, if you go to the side and hit Q and left click, not shift, you actually do some crazy maneuvers. So. I don't know how many movement skills we just went over, but it's pretty much almost every single one of them. So, we also have Shift Q. This one's another interesting skill. So this is a charge skill, but I only pressed it once, which is interesting. So, what does that do? Super armor attack, charge, it's the Black Spirit Rage 100%. That's very interesting. We'll have to check that out in a bit. Uh, the last skill on the skill tree, though, is Shift F. So Shift F, you actually shoot in the air, and, uh... So if you hit Shift F, you shoot something in the air, and then you sh like you, you fire like a grenade, and you shoot it while it's in the air and it explodes. Uh, I don't know how much damage it did, but it just fucked him up. So probably does something. Um, let's go back to that charge shot. Was that what you just hit me with? Holy shit! Yeah. That did a lot of damage. Let me try that one more time. All right, Shift Q. Boom! Holy shit! That chunked you for like half. You are using pen weapons. Keep in mind, these characters are all soft cap. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're soft cap with pen weapons, and yeah, the charged attack did like chunk you for half. The the grenade in the air chunked you for like 35%. Damn, bro. So, yeah, I thought this class was not going to be a mobile class, but this actually seems extremely mobile, and just like you're going to dash around until you can get that grenade off. Um, something I do want to point out is that these skills, the skills in the skill tree. It says right here that it's only 400 skill points. This is not all the skills Archer is going to get, even in pre-awakening. 
Why do I know this? Because it's barely any skills at all, and there's only like two or three that do damage. It clearly is like half of a skill tree, so most likely when it releases, it'll have several more skills that will make it seem more fluid. Uh, I'm not too sure about any strategies or anything right now. Wait for the release and for the other skills to release to see what Archer's actually capable of, but it looks pretty nice. It looks like a fun class that I think a lot of people are going to have fun with. I think that's good. So, what have I learned? Well, I learned that the Shift Q ability is the one where you throw a grenade in the air and shoot it to make it explode. This ability is a super armor, a knockdown, and a down attack, which all work in PvP. However, it only hits around where the grenade explodes, which means if there's an enemy directly in front of you and the grenade explodes much farther away from you, it actually won't hit the enemy at all. I also learned that the Shift F ability is your charge shot ability, which is also your ultimate attack. Now, using the regular version of the skill, it has a PvE knockdown, but nothing for PvP. It does charge, but you only have to click the skill combination once and your character will automatically charge and fire when it's ready. Another interesting thing about the regular version of the skill is that it will charge and fire in whatever direction you start the skill, which means it's almost like a trick shot, a no-scope, something that you have to plan ahead of time or else you're just going to miss. However, the ultimate version of the skill is much more interesting. It may take a little bit longer to charge up, but it will literally lock onto your target and will not miss. Now, I'm sure your opponent could run out of the range of your ultimate attack, however, if they are in range, it will literally show them that you are locking onto them and it will not miss no matter what direction they are facing or you're facing. I also learned that the complicated Q plus left click plus either A or D to move left or right is actually a knockdown, so it's a movement skill that you can use to knock people down, which means it is very, very useful basically, and it is the main thing that everyone used in the duels to, to get their edge on their opponent, because you can just zoom by them, and if you get a knockdown, go in on them. It's that easy. If you get a knockdown, a great move to use is the back right click dagger ability, which is a float, an air attack, and an air smash all in one. Now, this requires extremely close range, so after you get that knockdown, if you're not standing right next to your opponent, you're going to have to go use some movement abilities to get up close and then use the skill. But all three in one simple dagger uppercut, that's pretty nice. I should also mention that when I say dagger, that's what it looks like in game, but I'm pretty sure it's just the bow unfolded to look like kind of a dagger shape. And when you use ranged skills, the dagger, quote unquote, unfolds to become a crossbow. The last thing I want to talk about is the archer's movement. Now in the video, I mentioned how you can left click in certain situations to get an extra movement ability, however I only seem to use it going forward and backwards. Later on after playing for several more hours, I realized that certain left and right side dashes you can extend by also clicking left click. And finally, around the time I was fighting the in-game Garmoth boss at TwitchCon, I realized that there is actually an infinite movement combo. Now, I say infinite, quote unquote, because you can do it forever if you had unlimited stamina. So it is limited by stamina. And it also makes use of the space bar animation cancel, which if you saw in the video was very slow. Now, if you didn't use the space bar animation cancel, you could use at least three skills in combination and wait like maybe one second and do it again. But the space bar animation cancel, although slow, gives you a super armor and it just chains it all together. I wish I could have recorded more and shown you guys this, but... We will just have to wait for the Archer release. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. I have more TwitchCon footage to upload unrelated to Archer, and I have pictures of video streamers and cosplayers that I'll be uploading on Twitter, which is always linked in the description below. And if I hear any more news about Archer, I will do my best to share it with all of you. I love you, and I'll see you next time.